Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second installment of Claude's vlog. I'm doing it at the little facility that I'm in, the little gym center. So you may hear an echo. I apologize. But this video is all about the little things. All right. The small details are worth millions. As my old coach used to say, it's in the crumbs. We got to find the crumb. We got to hone in on the little things, right? See a little, see a lot, see a lot, see nothing, right? We usually tend to look at the big picture. We try to focus on the big picture. But what happens is when we focus on the big picture or we focus on something that's large scale, we don't really tend to emphasize the jigsaw pieces that are in the table that will allow us to make the picture that we want to see, right? We have thousands of jigsaw puzzles at our disposal, right? But it's tedious. It's, it's, we, it requires patience, right? We're not going to fix or do the jigsaw puzzle in one go unless you have the free time to do that. All right. But the thing is, once we start placing the little things, once we, once we start doing the things that we don't usually want to do, that's when we excel. That's when we grow. Right. Whether it's 30 minutes of jogging or 30 minutes of mobility work, as I'm doing here. Right. Just testing the body out, seeing what needs to be worked on. Right. I have extremely tight ankles. All right. And over the past two months. I've been having extreme right knee pain to a point where it was both knees, right? And instead of being poopy pants and woe is me, right? And ex instead of ignoring it even further and making the symptoms worse, I started researching, right? I started seeing, okay, what's going on with me? I may be a big boy, so that could be a factor, right? I'm 280 pounds. I am not a bodybuilder. I am not this ripped dude. I'm a, I'm a big boy. I'm a, I'm a big boy. But, you know, that could be a factor. But, okay, let's push that aside. Let's see what else. Okay, hmm, stiff ankles may contribute to knee pain. Okay, let me see. Okay, my knee, my ankle's not really traveling as far as I like. There's a lot of stiffness going on. Okay, cool, let's work with that. And here you see me just work, right? It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be two hours like David Goggins, right? Just little minutes, right? We're, we're building the bricks. We're building a base, right? One minute will turn to two, two to three, three to four, 10, 20. Then we start improving, all right? And then we start progressing. And then we start seeing ourselves doing things that we thought we couldn't even imagine doing a couple months ago, right? Because this is a gradual process as well. But guess what? Guess what separates great athletes from everybody else? They focus on the little things. They focus on the small details, right? They're trying to perfect their, their drawing, their masterpiece. We're all artists at the end of the day. We all have blank canvases and we all have tools in the toolbox. And we start recruiting tools. We start seeing what's at our disposal, right? To make sure that our masterpiece is at its peak. It's at its perfection. That's all this is. Whether, you know, whether we decide, oh, you know, it's not for me or it's goofy, or I don't see how it benefits me, right? I don't like stretching. I don't like mobility work. But guess what? If I'm trying to take my athletic performance to the next level, I have to sit back, I have to look at myself, and I have to tell myself, okay, I'm not doing anything, but guess who else is doing something? Someone else in the world is working. Someone else in the world is improving, and I'm not. So guess what? I told myself, okay, I don't care what time it is. It's way past <laughs> bedtime or whatever. It's 10 o'clock at my uh, Eastern time, my time. And I told myself, okay, let me do 20 minutes of mobility. And I just worked, right? Did forward lunges, making sure that my ankles were nice and mobile. Got a weight, got a 45-pound plate. Started pressing on the ankle, really get that nice uh, lengthening stretch, whatever you want to call it. I'm not trying to be technical here, all right? I'm all about simplicity. But, you know, just work on it. The groin, the, the calves, the, the shoulders, the trunk, right? I had huge doms in my lower back and mid-back from Zercher deadlifts. And now I feel better, right? I feel great, actually. But work on the details because you never know what it might bring you. 
right? We usually like to take the road most traveled, but sometimes we have to take the, the road that's least traveled because we start seeing the, the scenery. We start appreciating life just a little bit more, right? Patience, uh, resilience, uh, passion, purpose. That's all it's about, right? That's why these athletes are getting paid millions to do the stuff that you're probably not going to do.